Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of The Walking Dead. I'm whispering because we're sneaking into a very savage place called Crawford, and they don't allow children, and they fuck up anybody who's not up to their standards. So everybody get into the mood, sit back and relax, because here it comes. Check out what I found in the garage. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break-in. Nice. Can I talk to you a minute? What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. So? So, we're gonna have a capacity problem. Boat that size ain't gonna hold more than five people. Even with one of them a kid. Me, you, Clem, Krista, Omi, Ben, Holly. Uh-oh. Assuming everyone makes it back alive. That's a problem. Still one too many. Even if we cut Molly loose. Before this is over, we're gonna have to make a decision. You're not serious. Look, I'm just saying, if we want the best Ben, Molly. Of... <laughs> right? I like Molly, though. I like Molly. Omid, he's a goner, right? I mean, he is her. What the hell is this? This is Bree. She can help us. Oh, God. Miss Piggy's back. Ugh. Wasn't she bitching at me earlier? Whatever. Mia. Uh... don't need her. She's just gonna slow us down. I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. With her help, we're shit. in and out faster. Anyone have a problem with that? I guess not. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. God, Molly's badass! I love her. She looks cool. She looks like a lot of people made fan art of her or something. Hold up just a sec. You ready? Ready. Hey, whoa, hold on a minute. You're not taking her with us. Did you not hear anything I said about the kind of place Crawford is? If you take her in there and they find Shh. her... This little girl's not just excess Zip baggage. It. She's gotten us out of a tight spot more than once. She's coming. Deal with it. You heard the man. Let's move out. Yeah, deal with it with your big-ass five head. Borderline six head. What is that? A hatchet? Uh, of course, Ben. He's gonna need it more than we do because... Lee can more than handle himself. He has proven time and time again... Well, he's proven time and time again that he's clumsy as shit... But he's also he is, okay. Let me right underneath the center of Crawford, the old school should be directly above us. Okay, people, this is it. Remember the plan: we stay quiet, we stay hidden, and we stay together. We find what we need, and we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? Got it. I mean, got it. And that got part it. about staying close, that goes double for you. Oh, here we go, guys. Here we go. Can't get a good look above with the cover on. Well, I wanted you to take it off, Lee. Let's go. Oh, I can tell this is going to be fun. <laughs> I love sneaking around. Where is everybody? There should be guards patrolling. What? Are you disappointed? It's just strange, is all. I think I see one over there by the door. Okay. Me and Kenny will sneak out, trying to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody got it? Got it. Kenny, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. No shooting, but he has a big-ass rifle. Let me just do my little hatchet thing. I'm just gonna put one right in the back of his brain. Here we go, here we go, here we go. What the fuck? Oh shit! There we go, there we go! Uh! Crawford, safe place! Barriers and all that, yeah right. Walkers all day, come on now. What the fuck is a walker doing inside here? Get inside, fast! So I guess they thought that Crawford was going to be safe, but then now all the zombies are inside. So does that mean nobody else is alive in Crawford? That's going to be problematic. Fuck. Fuck. Do you think they saw us? Uh, no idea. Your guess is as good as mine. 
Ah, oh. we scared Clementine. I didn't mean to what do that, Clem. I'm so sorry. What happened here? I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh man, we are so screwed. Ben, shut the no, hell up. This is good. How is this good? He's right. Vernon's right. We can deal with walkers easier than armed guards. I agree. So long as we don't let them box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? Exactly. Come on. I think I know which way to head. I got a bad feeling about this. I got a bad feeling about you, Ben. And I'm about to put this hatchet somewhere where I don't have that bad feeling anymore if you don't shut up. I just can't shake the PewDiePie face that he just looks like. Feels like PewDiePie is Ben. Just keep moving. Here. Here? This dark room? This better not it's be a trap. Okay. Everybody in. Of course. Thanks. They turned the schoolroom like into like a battle station? Some kind of command center. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? Everywhere? <laughs> Every possible place we can look? Here. Just give me a sec. Who the hell made you leader? The fuck? Know your place. Get get back there. Lee is the leader. He's the leader. Where would be the best place to look for medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. How do you know that? Oh yeah, how do you know that, Molly, huh? Just how makes you know that? sense, doesn't it? Sure. What's that look for? Hmm? Where can we find Molly. some for the boat? I'm starting to rub my chin pubes. There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. Molly. So then we just need a battery. This auto shop. It's right next door. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. Okay. I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Mm. Okay, we've got a plan. Molly! Everyone be careful. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. It's either Molly used to be a Crawford resident, or she is leading us here. But then, I don't know, Molly seems like a good guy. So, what about me? I'm gonna give her the what benefit of the do? doubt. I need you to stay here with Ben and watch over our command center. I'm putting you in charge of it, okay? <laughs> she even knows he's a You're fuckboy. You're leaving me with Ben? <laughs> I'm not leaving you with She's Ben. Like, ben? I'm leaving him with you, understand? Oh, okay. <laughs> Back before you know it. We should give Clem a gun, just in case Ben wants to act stupid. Let's check this room out before we go anywhere. Hopscotch. Hopscotch. Yep. Hopscotch, Lee. 
Hoppity scotchity, scotchity hoppity. Creepy. I do find dolls pretty creepy. Might come back for these later. Any reading material would be nice once we get on that boat. Yep. You know what? Do we even want to know what Ben's thinking? Nah, fuck it. Hey, you need any help with that? Thanks, I got it. Just once, I'd like to do something useful, you know? Yeah, just die so we can all fit in the boat. That'd make a nice change of pace. Wow, no need to agree with me quite so much. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Well, uh, I'll let you get on with it. No, wait. There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, come on. This again? It's my fault Duck and Katja got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. Hmm. You know, uh... I agree. I think you should tell him. Just not now. You don't get it, Lee. What am I supposed to do whenever he talks about Katja and Duck? Just nod and pretend like it wasn't my fault. I can't do it anymore. Ben, listen. Kenny seems like he's got his shit back together because right now he's got a purpose. But he's still in a real bad place. You tell him now, he's gonna lose it. And then we're all screwed. There'll come a time when he's ready to hear it. But it's not now. Not yet. I agree. Good words, Lee. I hear you. I'm gonna get back to this. You know, the fact that Ben told us that, I don't have that much respect for him, but I have a little bit of respect because I believe in people, you know, owning up to their mistakes, even though this is a huge, enormous fuck up. He got multiple people killed, but. The fact that he is willing to tell Kenny something so big, like the announcement of this, will probably get him killed. But the fact that he's gonna do it, I have respect the for him. alleyway to the auto shops down here. You coming or not? I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm just browsing around, okay? It's like I'm in a store. I'm just looking at things. I've already been fired. They're worthless. Aw, I wanted the ammo. I wanted the ammo. Molly's pretty fast. I'm starting to rub the chin pubes again. My uh, trust meter is going off on Molly. It's like Did it This must be the door Did to it the it alleyway where the auto shop is. But where the hell is Molly? Yeah, she's going awfully fast. Molly! I don't know if Molly, I can trust ya. You out here? Oh, now we gotta whisper again because we're outside. Sorry, guys. Guess I'm not going that way. All right, Lee. Looters will be shot on sight. Oh, fuck. You're not a looter, though. You're not a looter. Oh, who was that? Oh, my God. Fucking Slendy. Somebody was out there all shadowy and shit. Why are we doing this? Okay, I didn't know that was a thing. But apparently it's a thing, so we are gonna do it. Come on, use those muscles, Lee! Damn, it's jammed tight. Come on, buff guy. Uh, you can't do that? Let's see here. There was somebody walking around. Wait, wait, wait. Thought I heard something. I thought I heard footsteps. Why are you so paranoid? Don't be so paranoid. Better not get too close. Definitely. What are we gonna use to open the door, Lee? Like, we gotta think here, man. It's just me and you. We gotta brainstorm. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Leave him! Oh, goddamn, He's Molly! Mine. Where the hell have you been? What are you doing? 
Molly. Just killing for fun? What's going on here? Molly. What? You got him. All right. Calm your ass down. Calm the fuck down. What's wrong with you? What's the matter? Never seen someone kill a geek before? Not like that. He's wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit new. <sighs> okay, so she knows that guy. Or knew that guy. Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. Do you even lift, bruh? Not a problem. Look what I found. Nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That'll work. Uh oh. We gotta hustle. We gotta move it. Come on. Come on. No more cutscene. We gotta move it. Go, Lee. Come on, you gotta be like a wannabe mechanic. You just gotta crank that bitch. Come on. I got you. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, Q! Q, 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 Q! Come on! Crank it, boy! Yes! Easy. Oh, that dude's still alive. Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. You better. Don't go crazy on me again. Freaking psycho on that zombie. There we go. Battery right there. Well, I can see where the battery should be. But it's not. Oh, I thought there was a battery Perfect. right in the middle. I can't reach it up there. Alright, we gotta lower this. No power. Of course. More of Crawford's rules. How did anybody live like this? I'd rather take my chances on the outside. Same. High five. High five for thinking the same. It's locked. No way in. Hmm. Looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. Okay. So, we need to connect the dots. Looks like Crawford had their own semi-trucks. Molly, what you thinking about this? Something you need? Can I borrow your hook? Think I can borrow that uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda. Hilda? Not Hilda! Color. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. I'll treat her right, you know? I'll take her out to dinner. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. Oh yeah, Hilda. You love being in my arms, baby girl? Oh yeah, Hilda loves me. She likes a man's touch. Why did I do that? I did it. Okay. There we go. Whoa, whoa. Oh shit. Oh shit. That's probably not good. No shit. Okay. Let's move I'm it. To hold them off. Hurry. There's All right. the back. Finally something goes right. Yes. Still attention to the terminals. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Lee. Unscrew that bitch. To the terminals. Yeah, I'm trying to tell you to unscrew it, bro. Still attached to the terminals. Still attached to the terminals. Yeah, buddy. Still attached to the terminals. All right, take take it off. I thought Not he would that take off. that off as soon as I clicked that, but apparently it's, it's a two-step process. Thank you. Got it. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here. I'll carry it. Damn, you're strong. Okay, follow Those batteries me. are pretty heavy. Come on, Lee. Move your ass. I'm coming. Oh fuck. Hey, don't rock the car. Now what? Skyline. Yeah. Watch your face.
Damn, she is strong as hell! Lee is at least 180 pounds. Okay, so now we're on she the... one armed that hole. You ever stop complaining? Come on. Molly is low key a superhero. Look at this. Damn! <laughs> I'm impressed. I'm a fangirl on, right now. What are you, chicken? Jump. I'm not a fanboy, I'm a fangirl. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. What? All these are I can't. Okay, let's not say anything. Yeah. Get it! Woo! Oh, beast. Hashtag Molly fangirl. Let's go. Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. Wait, you still got the battery. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. What? See you back in class. Molly! Wow, you've Damn gotta what be kidding me! Doing? What the fuck? Okay. Let's check this bloody locker. Can't open it without the combination. Logan. Logan, 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 Logan. Whoa. That's uh Vernon. What are you doing, Vern? You guys need any help? Thanks, but I think we're almost in. We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. Think we're almost in? That's what he said. Can't believe Molly left us. That was such a dick move. I mean, it sucks because she's so awesome. She's probably the best character after Clementine. And she has the battery, so... We can't leave without her. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the fuck? Oh, God. Go. Come on, Lee. Uh, yes! Get your ugly ass face out the door! Oh yeah, you're dead. Sayonara, mother sucker! Break the door with something! Gotcha. Whoa! Get away from the door! We're good. Damn well better. They're also ugly too. The Hideous beasts. Let's not start high fiving each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. Give us a hand with these fuel cans. They weigh a goddamn ton. Aw, I like high fiving everybody. Just high five in here, high five in there, high five in there, double high five in there. Why can't I high five people? You're back. Yeah, and we made out pretty good too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. <laughs> Here, let a man do battery it. Battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. Let's talk to uh, Bree. I don't want to call her Miss Piggy. Bree? Hey, Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. We're all on the same team. So you're a cancer survivor? How long have you known Vernon? So you're a cancer survivor, like Vernon and the others. Yeah, I was diagnosed when I was in college. Been in treatment ever since. Just when I was starting to get better, when I thought there might be some hope, all this happened. Lost my whole family. I'm the only one who survived. Funny how things work out, huh? Yep. All right, how long have you known Vernon? How long have you known Vernon? Couple of years. He ran our support group. He was really great helping me come to terms with my disease. But how do you come to terms with something like this? With a place like Crawford? I don't know what I or, or the other survivors would have done without Vernon. He's the one who held us together, kept us alive. All right, I'd better get going. I don't really care about Crawford. I'll be back. Got some things to do. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you very much. I love it when people wish me good luck. Where's Clem? There she is. You okay, Clem? Yeah. This desk is just like the ones we have in my school. I know it's weird, but I kind of miss it, being in school. So do I. It's not weird at all. So do I. You haven't been in school since forever. Hey, 
I'm not that old. <laughs> and I used to be a teacher, remember? American history. Where's Molly? She had to go run an errand. She'll be back soon. I hope she's okay. She'll be fine. She's pretty tough. She is Do you more think than tough. Things will ever be normal again, just like the way they were before. Hmm. I don't think so. I don't think so, Clem. I think the best we can hope for is that we'll find a way to survive, to stay together, and to not let this change us. That's what's important. I guess you're right. I mean. You know, you have to be honest with Clem. I mean, I know that you got to nurture her and blind her for some of the things that are happening in the world, but, you know, she's going to have to deal with this in the future, so you might as well get her educated, right? What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, but what has she done for me lately? Hmm. All right. Let's uh let's get out of here. Let's see if we can find Molly. I'll be back, guys. You stay cool now. Okay. We got to figure out where Molly is. And we got to figure out where Vernon is and Krista. Yeah, Vernon and Krista are together. So we gotta make sure they're okay because there were zombies coming over here. And I know the official term is walkers, but I like calling them zombies. I mean, you could just take a shit on the floor. It's not like anybody's gonna clean it up. It's not like class is in session. I mean, I know that's unsanitary. Maybe you won't have any toilet paper to wipe your ass and have mud butt. But you'll be alright. I'm going back out there unless I have a damn good reason. To find Molly? Isn't that a good enough reason? Molly has the battery. She's with Hilda. So we gotta figure out what's going on, man. Cause this is not cool. Whoa. Shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Kristen Vernon must be trapped in there. Shit. Okay, uh. Fuck. Oh, there we go. Hi guys! Hi uglies! Uh! Die! Boom! Oh, I'm LG Pro, bitch! What's up? Don't be dead. Do not be dead. Don't you dare. Yeah, what the it's hell me. Happened? They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the meds? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Ah. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe. Locked up tight. Can we bust it open? Where else can we look? Maybe we should try looking somewhere else for medicine. In Crawford? This place is too overrun. No, that safe is our best chance. Yeah, it'd be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. I'll have to take time to rest later, I think. What is this? A copy machine. Not that it matters with no power around here. Hmm. Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination, though. Wasn't there a guy outside with scrubs on that Molly killed? Maybe he has something. Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? Where can I listen to that? Phones probably haven't worked in months. How's it coming? Slow. Too slow. I'm worried that by the time we manage to get this thing open, it may be too late. About Molly... Molly helped me get the battery we needed. That's great. One down. Where is she? She took off. Had some kind of errand she needed to run. Took off? With the battery? 
Yeah. Don't worry, she'll be back. I hope so. That girl doesn't really strike me as a team player. More the mercenary kind. Thanks for coming with us. Eh, I really don't give a shit. I'll go see if I can find something that'll help us get that safe open. Good idea. God, every time he talks, I can't stop looking at that five head. Oh, here we go. How did they not notice this? I wandered in here for what, one minute? Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547, Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. No. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm going to give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure. I want my baby. I can't do this. I can't do this. That is so Anna, fucked up. You don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Wow. What the hell, man? Have a heart, you bald fuck. Damn it! We almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Yep. Maybe you should search it. See what he's got on him. That's a good idea. I was thinking the exact same thing. I like the way you think, Vernon. I'll be back. Don't wait up. When we opened the garage, though, he was still walking around. So hopefully he's still there. Like, when we opened the garage, he, he was moving his hands like... Bleh, bleh, bleh. So hopefully we're good. It, was the zombie's name Logan? Because that's what the locker's name was. It was Logan. Maybe he hid a tape there. I don't know. I'm just trying to piece things together right now. Trying to be like a mini detective. Damn, I don't want to go back there, though. I don't want to go back over here. I'm all by myself. Auto shop must be down this way. You know that. You got the battery, Lee. The fuck? <laughs> you know the auto shop is that way. Because you climbed up on this thing, remember? Oh, shit. Oh, shit! What the fuck? Get the fuck off me! You don't even have a hand! And then a TV just fell on you? What? What even is this shit? <laughs> Hey, get back over here. You're going nowhere. So get your crawling bald ass over here. There we go. This might be just what we need. What's this? Looks like some kind of code. But Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. Locker. Uh-oh. Shit, time to go. Yes, sir. Okay. So we have to put in that four-digit code. Or not four-digit code. We gotta put in that locker code. Again, the zombies, I can hear them. Calm down, guys. Logan. This must have been his locker. Safe combination has got to be on one of these. Yeah. There we go. Now we have some videos to watch. Yay! 
I found two more tapes. One of them is dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. I was gonna make a joke after she said put it in, but it was too obvious. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive, to keep on living, if this is what it takes, if this is what it's turned us into? I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you, please help me. Maybe one day when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Damn. No. No. Oh, <laughs> why did he do that? I think we know what happened to Crawford. More importantly, we got the combination. Why are you crying? What? Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. All right. Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. We take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You know, I found yeah. a third tape in the locker outside. Maybe there's something else on there. We got the meds for Omid. That's all I care about. We'll head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. Oh, so we're gonna watch it by ourselves, Huh. Let me check that shit out. What? Whoa! Listen, as fun as this was, I have to put a stop to this little arrangement. This is the last I can give you. Why? Overson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die or she'll start showing symptoms and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it? Oh, so that was Molly's sister. Why was he recording that? Well, shit. Why was he recording that? <laughs> well, hopefully he just started the video when he was zipping up his pants. But Molly knows more than she's letting on, obviously. Now we are about to grill that ass, okay? We are about to barbecue chicken that ass because she has some explaining to do, guys. This is weird. Hopefully she didn't run off. That would be some shit. Whoa. Whoa, Jesus there Christ. she is. Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery down. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. What? I'm just kidding. I like her. I like her. She can, she can crack a joke. Here you go. Thank you. What's that? Nothing. You can quit with the act, Molly. I know you're from Crawford. What? Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. Why'd you lie to me? I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, 
It seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place or their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic, and by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. I kept it a secret. Kept her safe for as long as I could. But in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked. How anything was better than becoming one of them. But I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late. Before they came and took my sister away. This is all I have left of her. So it wasn't the same have girl. To take it before I got out of Crawford. It wasn't the same girl as in the birth it, okay? tape. It's okay, Molly. Or the baby. She's pretty. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Yeah, that wasn't the same girl, the one that was pregnant. Jesus. What the yeah. fuck? Sorry, sorry. I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. Kenny and I still can't get the door open to the armory. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Uh, Ben? Where did you get that? Oh my god! It. it was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Ben! Oh no. Ben, you are just a bucket of fuck! Jeez, Ben! I got you, I got you, I got you. Okay. Thanks. It wasn't me. Good going, kid. Nice. Oh wow. Thanks. Good job, Clem. Okay. Damn, sharpshooter in the building. Oh, I'm so proud of her. They're coming. So proud of Clemmy. I ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! God damn it, Ben. This is my fault, all my fault. What the hell is he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean this is all your fault? Penny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Man. Not now. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. Ben, shut the fuck up. Fuck you, Lee. I can't do this anymore. It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. Oh, God. It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Kid, enough! Calm down, man! You little pissant! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dad! My wife and child! You got a both fucking kill! Kenny, I said calm the fuck down! Nice group you got here. Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here. Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well. But oh, all I want to do is get back to Omi, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? Of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. I've seen enough of Crawford to know that becoming like them is the beginning of the end. I can't do it. I can't I leave Ben, ben behind. Stays with us. What about the rest of us? Don't we get a second? Oh, shit! Well, I guess that's our person that we're leaving behind. Jesus Christ! She is Walker Dinner, baby. Now, 
can we go? Holy Damn fuck! Right. Vernon, come on! What the fuck? Just go! For the armory. What's left of it? A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I could. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's got to be a way out down here. Oh. Not that door. Fuck! Not that door. It's not going to hold. Back upstairs. Lee, look. Is that a shoddy for these thotties? Let's go. All right. What's up, baby? Okay. Okay. I got you guys. I got you. I got you. I got you. Come on. Who wants some? Who wants some? Where you at? Uh! Blah! Come on! You want a piece of me? I'm Lee, baby! Oh shit! Spoke too soon! Fight off walkers! What's up? My leg's trapped in here, but I don't give a fuck! Come on, bitch! Uh! Look down! Get that shit up, Lee! Come on! What's up? Okay. Get that leg out, boy. There we go. This is crazy. Nice. What's up, baby? Damn, Lee is a bad ass. Woo! Fuck off me! What's up, bitch? Damn, you got ass though! Oh! Whoa, whoa! Get out of my face! Oh, that was badass! <laughs> Come on! That was cool. Aww. It's all right. I'm fine. Any way out of here? This leads to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Go, go! Yeah, come on, let's go! Whoa, what in the world? Oh shit! What the fuck? I got you, I got you! Whoa! Hold on, man! I've got you! No! Climb up! Come on, you can do it! There's no time! You have to go! Now! Get around, Ben! Come on! Let go, damn it! Get Clem and the others out of here! Lee! We, we both know. Let me go. Fuck that, man. Fuck that. Let's go. Why? Go, go, go. Wow. <laughs> that was intense as hell. That was probably the most intense episode from this whole series. I can't wait to post the next episode. If you guys are excited for that, make sure you guys give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude! <laughs>